you've been here before, welcome back. I've missed you. Do you know what we learn here on Creation Station? We learn about the Bible. The Bible is God's word, and God's word is true. That's how he speaks to us. Let's sing a song about the Bible. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. Great, this month we have a new memory verse. Actually, we have three. They're in John 1, 1 through 3, and they say, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. To help you memorize those verses, I have a song for you. Let's stand up and sing. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. He is the Word. John 1, verse 1, 2, 3. job. We will sing this song every Sunday this month so you can learn these verses. But now it's time to sit down, take a deep breath, 
and put our thinking caps on because it's story time. The Story and the Song The heavens are singing about how great God is. And the skies are shouting it out. See what God has made. Day after day, night after night, they're speaking to us. God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on the earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere because God created everything in his world to reflect him like a mirror to show us what he's like, to help us know him, to make our hearts sing. The way a kitten chases her tail, the way red poppies grow wild, the way a dolphin swims. And God put it into words too, and wrote it in a book called The Bible. Now, some people think the Bible is a book of rules, telling you what you should and what you shouldn't do. Well, the Bible's certainly does have some rules in it. They show you how life works best. But the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what he has done. Now, other people think the Bible is a book of heroes, showing you people you should copy. But the Bible does have some heroes in it, but as you'll soon find out, most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They make some big mistakes, and sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and run away. At times, they are downright mean. No, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is, most of all, a story. It's an adventure story about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince who leaves his palace, his throne, everything to rescue the one he loves. It's like the most wonderful of fairy tales that has come true in real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but all the stories are telling one big story, the story of how God loves his children and comes to rescue them. It takes the whole Bible to tell this story, and at the center of the story, there's a baby. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. He's like the missing piece in a puzzle, the piece that makes all the other pieces fit together, and suddenly you can see a beautiful picture. And this is no ordinary baby. <laughs> this is the child upon whom everything would depend. This is the child who would one day but wait, our story starts where all good stories start, right at the very beginning. Do you know why God gave us the Bible? God gave us the Bible so we could know and love him. Our God is great. Next, we're going to listen to a song called, How Great Is Our God? But I want you to do me a favor. I want you to sit still and listen to what the song says. You can even close your eyes if it helps you pay attention. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the heavens and the earth. Psalms 148, 13. How great!
God is great and he's big and strong and mighty. Now it's time to stand up and dance. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God
great learning with you today. See you next week.